Alright, so, hello and welcome back to another episode of Breaking World Blindfolded. This one is going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, right. And maybe I should equip myself first. That would help, probably. So, equip. Uh, I think Gauss. One down. Equip. Headgear. Tiger mask. That, that'll that be nice. It's pretty much just an all-around boost. There's no reason not to have it on. And... Relics. So, I want the thing in the top slot because I accidentally replaced that with the safety club last episode in my menu shenanigans, so... Equip, skills, item, save. Alright, so this is going to be pretty long, but I suppose I'll split it up, so I'll just, uh... One second. Alright, so... Uh, bread and butter of this episode. This one is going to be a nuisance. It is really long. At least I can break it up a little bit. But, uh, it, it is still a really long episode, and... Uh, like, if I were to run through the Magitek facility just normally, I'd end up... and grab none of the treasure, I'd end up completing it in very few battles, like, probably only two or three. But getting all the treasure in it... Okay, good. I'm up here. Getting all the treasure in it is slightly more difficult. Because it, it, you have to go out of your way for a lot of it. And the battles here aren't entirely pushovers, so... The dogs like to hit Gao every single time. Which is a bit of a troll, because he's the weakest character. He's the only one who would probably... who might actually have a chance of dying to things. If they spread out the attacks over the entire party, it would be no big deal, because they're not that strong against characters like Celeste, Locke, and Edgar. But for Gao... Oh yeah, right, and I was going to put Locke in the back row. Dang it, I should have done that first part of this, but... Okay. Mr. Pukalicious over there, covering my back. Thank you. <laughs> the reason why I put Locke in the back row is because his damage output is really, really bad in this place. Full of high tanky, high defense tanky enemies. So it's almost not even worth considering his attack, I'm really just having him attack for the sake of mugging. And maybe a bolt 2 proc here and there once I get the electric sword. But that's it. Here we go. Down the stairs. No, not down the stairs yet. Now I gotta go down the stairs. Oh, things are pretty going pretty well so far. Alright, I'm gonna go down. Oh good that'll do. Um Well you've gotta be Gao. Alright, I'm continuing on with the Exocite Rage. Well I'm not gonna continue on it just blindly. But, I, uh, if it's a fort, I mean a proto-man battle, I'll be using the Exocyte Rage, and if it's undetermined, or if it's uh, not a proto-man battle, I'll be using the Crawler Rage, because that'll keep Gao alive. Any battle that I and or do multi-target damage, because... Uh, Every single battle that's not a protoman battle is going to be with either two dogs in it, and therefore I want to keep Gao alive, and there's lots of targets, so it's good. 
or it's going to be one hit KO'd with Edgar, in which case I don't really care what Gaunt does because it's going to be one hit KO'd with Edgar. So. Oh, uh, yeah, I was going to double check where the Crawler Rage actually was. But that being said, the Proto Man battle is the most dangerous here, so it's first priority when I'm considering it. left. Is there a two commando, one dog battle? Whatever, everything died without hitting me, so I'm not going to complain. Preemptive strikes with something like Onion Knights or I... The general double commando battle are nice because that guy's just like, nope, clean house. <laughs> Alright, I probably made it. Okay. It's a dog battle. Um. Now that I think about it, I never bothered checking, figured out a, figuring out a way to check who was Gao. Maybe I should have put Gao on a separate noise from all the others, because Celeste is just bolting everything now. Well, this is locked. This is Gao. I think, if I'm remembering correctly, Crawler's two down from the top left. But I'm not 100% sure. As long as it's not Bomb. I swear I didn't hear him do anything at all. Maybe he used Absorb and it's just really quiet. Okay. See you. <laughs> All right. That was dumb. I forgot I can't just go over the top. One's gonna be long enough. I just don't need to be making stupid mistakes like this. Alright. Skills. Lock is at the bottom. His MP isn't going to anything other than curing at this point, so why not? Magic. Cure. I might as well just let him have the free healing. Uh oh, now that I think about it. Second damage control. I already took one step up, so I'm not sure where everything's gonna leave me. But this should uh, put me back in a spot that I should know. I'm either. I'll take one step back. Now I'm in front of the pipe, whether I'm two steps up or one step up, I don't know, but it doesn't make a difference because now I know where I am. There we go, got my thing. Thanks for the thing, guys. The only really important treasure here to remember is the electric sword. Alright, so now I'm on the conveyor belt, which I can tell because I'm doing the menu trick and nothing's happening. Alright, so I just got something. I don't remember what that is, but it's not important because it's not the electric sword. Cross that conveyor belt. There's the electric sword. Okay. 
equip. Still unlocked because I just healed with them. Alright, I'm hoping the electric sword was the thing at the top. I'm pretty sure it is. And now let's move my cursor back to skill so I don't forget later, like I know I would if I didn't do that. Run down to hit this box. Around the box. I get another thing. Oh, battle, just before the conveyor belt. Alright. Nice, that electric sword's already coming in handy. Uh oh. That, this is a... Oh right, and I forgot to switch off the crawler rage. Whoops. Thankfully that uh, bolt 2 proc is going to be helping me out quite a bit. Another missile. Won't kill anyone at least. Luck was on fire that battle, that could have been a lot more dangerous than it was. And Luck's gonna be healing me afterwards, so I guess he's the MVP for that fight. Skills, Luck, Magic, Cure, lots of healing. Alright, I'm on the conveyor belt. There we go. Alright. So now I'm going to be going in this ever so riveting direction. Alright, I should be on the staircase by now. Nice, made it all the way to that box. I hope. Unless I made a mistake. Full box. This is where I need to be. Now down and right for the next millennium. Okay, I'm starting to get worried by the lack of battles. Yeah, I'm starting to get really worried now. gonna keep going with what I was doing, but... I don't see myself being able to recover there. Nice, did I make it the entire way? I felt like I was uh, going way too long for the battle there. I think the encounter rate's really low here in Brave New World, so that's nice. I'm definitely feeling the effects, um, however, there's a, it's both a blessing and a curse in some ways. But I think more blessing than curse. Alright, who is this? Lock. Okay. This is Edgar. And this is Gao. Who I shall target with Exocyte this time. In case of a uh, Proto Man battle. Gas the masses. There we go. Got all of that bio blaster, especially against uh, things like onion knights. They didn't even hit me, so that's nice. This is going well so far. A lot better than I thought it would, anyway. 
In my test runs, I kept getting blitzed by proto men and having Gout die to dogs, but. And I only have one Phoenix down, no joy on that. Alright, made it here. Alright, let me think for a second. Um. Yeah. I I'm not forgetting my route in the short term. I'm actually forgetting my route in the long term here. Alright, I've got one more step to take down before I step on that conveyor belt. Why am I checking if this is lock? I'm just gonna be jamming A. Seeing as I already have the exosite targeted and I didn't even know what the battle is yet. I think that the uh, attack, the first attack happened on the right side of the screen, so I think this is an onion knight battle, in which case, goodbye. Or I suppose onion kids. Skills. Lock. Magic. Here. Alright, that's the end of it. I could tell because there was a little bit of a pause. Alright. Item. Dried meats are at the top still. I had a feeling not. Alright, so Gao should be rehealing from the life bell, so. On to the conveyor belt. Okay, I'm on the conveyor belt, so I'll just hold down and wait for Kefka to laugh at me. To laugh at the efforts of a poor blind person. Seriously, what a douche. He can poison people, drain people of their essences, but when he insults a blind person, that's when you know he's evil. Alright, I can wait until one of them falls down the conveyor belt. There we go. Alright, around the box. All the way down to the bottom here. Alright, the conveyor belts in this place are way too quiet. I can barely hear them over the music. Same with the doors. Yeah, I think that was it. Unfortunately, there's no way to change the music to sound effect ratio in this game, so I just have to deal with it. There's my chest. Two back. Alright, gotta listen carefully for the door. I'm gonna go left next. Alright, I heard a punch. What does that mean again? Is that the proto men? In that case, I'll exercise. Exocyte isn't a horrible choice anyway, it's still a decent power attack. Gauss stamina rages will probably get favored more. I should really be robbing the... Oh, the general. Well, they're gonna die now. Hopefully that 
Thunderbolt didn't hit Gao, because if it did, then it probably got hurt something nasty. Then again, a multi-targeted reflective spell is cut into fourths, so maybe it's not that bad. He wouldn't have died from it anyway. Item, dried meat. Both those guys had more damage than I was expecting, so I don't really think the Thunderbolt hit Gao. Um, so I'm going left next. Left, down. There's the door. I had a backup plan anyway, to, in case I missed it, but... One, two, three. Why am I not dashing? I probably started dashing right after I made it anyway. Oh, another battle. Nice. Gotta love those Bolt 2 procs. Oh yeah, now I remember why I'm not mugging on the left side of the screen. I can't determine who's locked very quickly. Alright, all the way to the left. Maybe I should at least check if I got hit. I don't think I did. But it's not as if it hurts to be careful. the door. I'm, not, I'm never sure whether I went through the door or not. Alright, two cubed is eight. That's kind of how I remember this. Of course it's a little bit different depending on where I am, which side of the chest, depending on whether I heard the door noise or not. Right now it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Nice. Alright. Long more distance to run here. Well, it's not a proto man battle, I think. That's always a good thing. Oh, probably I'm getting kids again. Oh, another one so soon. Now I hit them. Oh, I think it's onion kids again. Well, s adios amigos. <laughs> I won't be able to rely on that bio blaster for too much longer, but for the time I, for the use I got out of it, I'd say it was definitely worth the gill. Alright, so I'm running up to the top here. As you can see, I actually ran quite a distance out of my way to, from like the optimal step pattern for the chest to hit the Dragoon Boots. Or what's there now. It's not Dragon Boots now, but uh, it used to be. But, you know, the chest down to the bottom left there. I actually ran quite a bit out of the way. I would have had to do that anyway, even if I wasn't taking a break here, because that... Um, that chest is in an awkward place. I'd have to count steps for quite a while to get to it, otherwise. But I... So I would have had to come up here anyway, which means I end up going almost no distance out of my way to actually get down to the save point here. So that's why I'm taking a break here. 
so... Alright, made it to this conveyor belt. With the low encounter rate on here, it'll probably only amount to one battle, maybe two. Alright. Well, I made it. Ish. I've still got more treasures to get, but the crane back up uh, takes me to a very nice spot to get to that chest I was mentioning earlier, which is mainly the reason why I'm doing it this way. Alright. Uh, you are Gao. Alright, so I definitely want to take the Brawler Rage here. Strong non elemental damage against these flans is a must. Um... This is locked. There might be a general back there, so I'll mug it. As you can see, I don't really care about what Locke is doing most of the time. I've just been getting some lucky procs, but other than that, he's not all that useful here. Um, this is Edgar, so... I want to drill the face off of something. Uh, I think Flans do that. Otherwise, I just messed up royally, but... Yeah. But yeah, I might as well drill here. There's no reason to bioblaster when it's going to be doing a whopping zero damage. Locke is pretty much worthless in this fight, since he doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's always in generally a problem when you don't do anything at all. I might as well have him hit the thing at the left, in case it does happen to be a general, in which case... That way you'll do something, at least. Even if it's only probably like 50 to 100 damage, it might as well be something. Wow, oh, this Raid Edgar is going to do it all by himself. Storm, that's not good. There can only be two of them left at this point. Alright, Edgar, please finish him off before they can do anything to do this. Or Gao, that works too. Yeah, it probably cleaned up their clocks all the way. Nope, it hasn't. There we go. Knowing that the flans are down here is an important thing to know because otherwise those things are tanky and with the storm spell they could really wreck my face. Alright, so I'm not expecting another battle. There we go, made it to the save point. That's the first part of this over. I have to say it went much better than I expected. Celeste is actually only at like half a MP. Like, I was expecting her to be at 20 to 30 by this point, but things have been looking up so far at least.